Hey guys, thank you for joining me once again. So today I'm super excited to be filming this because I've launched my new beauty line, Chanel Brown Beauty. Woo! <laughs> so I have launched mink and silk eyelashes, which I'm absolutely in love with. So they're all handmade and they're designed by me. And oh my gosh, there is like an eyelash for everything and every occasion. So right now I am wearing soiree. So head over to our Instagram at Chanel Brown Beauty. I've kind of been talking about the inspiration behind each eyelash and kind of what inspired me to design it this way. So it's quite cool. So I really just want to talk about the mink eyelashes. They are 100% cruelty free guys. Absolutely no harm whatsoever is done to any animal. So during the natural shedding season, the hair is collected at zoos and then it is sterilized before being handmade into an eyelash. If you do purchase them, then please do hashtag CB Beauty so that I can see all the pictures. I just can't wait to see them and just to hear your guys' thoughts on them. Again, thank you so much for the support, guys. This is the first beauty product that I'm launching and I know you guys are gonna love them. So I'm actually going to use my fingers. Um, I don't really like using tweezers. I find using my hands a lot easier. So I'm going to apply some duo glue. Now this actual tube is available to buy as well on my website on chanelbrownbeauty.com um, because the eyelashes do not come with the glue. All across and I'm just going to let it dry. About 30 seconds, just waft it around. Now I have already applied one coat of mascara, a real sheer coat, um, just to hold the lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and I'm going to apply the lash. Now, I always find it easier to start on one corner, like that, then work my way around, like so. Then I take my fingers and I pinch the eyelash with my natural lash all the way across, just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to remove the glue so that they're ready to put on the next time you want to wear them. Now it's really important that you do this after every use. I mean, I've been a bit naughty and I've worn these a few times without removing the glue but it's not gonna stick as nice, it is not gonna look as good either. So to make sure we get as many uses as possible, it has to go. So all we're gonna do is gently tug at the lash with the tweezers. Now it's really important that you hold the lash like this and not by the end. Remember these are handmade, so that means they're quite fragile. So if you do it like that, you might end up pulling out the hairs. So I'm being really careful to make sure that I'm only tugging the glue off and I'm not going to be pulling the band. Now, I don't mascara my false lashes and if they're mink, I don't recommend that you guys do as well. However, if you do have mascara on them, use an oil-free makeup remover with a cotton bud and lightly stroke the hairs to remove the mascara. Now what's really great with these mink lashes is that they don't lose their shape and they don't lose their curl either. And it pretty much looks brand new. 